it's very difficult for any institution to confront its links with slavery. Now we know that as a university we'd had some very strong links to the abolitionist movement, but we didn't know much about our links with slavery, even though as a city, of course, Glasgow had very well established links to the slave trade. So we decided that we wanted to find out more because it's the right thing to do. We wanted to find out more and make sure we understood our history and made it public. So in 2016, we established a research program and in 2018, we published the report and we also established a reparative justice program. To me, what the research has done is to collect information and truthfully and honestly actually say we benefited without any sort of excuses. It wasn't a report which just said sorry, it also put in place a part of justice programme. Our part of justice programme was about looking forward and saying what can we do now in the 21st century? One of the most visible signs of our efforts is the flagship building in our £1 billion campus development programme. James McCune Smith Learning Hub. James McCune Smith was born a slave in America in the early 1800s. He then made his way to freedom and wanted to study to become a doctor, but he wasn't, he wasn't accepted into any universities in America, but he was accepted into the University of Glasgow. He was the first African American to receive a medical degree anywhere in the world. I came to University of Glasgow uh, inspired by Dr. McCune Smith's story, being born into slavery, defeating that in a way, and then traveling here to pursue education. I thought there was, if he can do that, I can do anything. It was beyond inspiring. I think by honoring McCune Smith, by naming a building after him, is saying that these stories are important, and we're also honoring him in a way that's in a codified form. You know, we've always seen names on buildings of important people, and so now we almost think that McCune Smith is just as important as Adam Smith. One of the other elements of our part of Justice Programme has been the establishment of our Glasgow Caribbean Centre for Development Research, established between ourselves and the University of the West Indies. Well, for me, as a historian, as a Caribbean citizen who is the descendant of enslaved people, to be part of that cleaning up process of confronting the past, uh, engaging with the issues, looking to the future, and crafting a new set of relationships, this is exciting. What's important now is that we don't just, as Sir Hillary put it, a research and run, that we now follow through and establish some really meaningful collaborations and research as we look to the future. Here's a gesture, late but true. Here's two saltires raised for you. Here's a redress that's long been owed. Here's the first step on the road. We can't change our past, but we can acknowledge it and we can change our future. And that's really what we're attempting to do at the University of Glasgow. Our James McCune Smith scholarships, along with a comprehensive programme that will help to raise aspiration and attainment, is absolutely mission critical for the university. Our raison d'etre is around empowering and enabling our future world changers to go out and change the world. Over the last year, of course, we've had the Black Lives Matter movement, which has been about amplifying black voices. But, of course, our journey started many years ago. I see this work as a first light, meaning that other people will see it and follow. It's one of the things I'm immensely proud of, that at the University of Glasgow, we haven't just acknowledged that and made reparation, but we have galvanised the higher education sector as a whole. Now many of our peer institutions are looking at their past and creating their reports. What Glasgow has done is to confront its history of benefiting from slavery and it has said we're not going to research it and run away from it. We're going to stand up to it. This makes us an ethical university. And now Glasgow, I think, can put up its hand and say we're not only excellent, but we're also ethical.